Anyways, we're at the Standard in New York. I'm from Los Angeles. I moved to New York about three months ago. I like New York very, very much. It's very new for me. Well, I'm a singer, so I pretty much have to travel quite often because, um, well, now my official single just came out in Europe, so I have to go there now and do promotion, and I'm on the radio over there, so it's a lot different when I'm here. Well, I've, oh, it's hard to say, well, my career started, that was like four, four, four years ago when I was 14, but I've always done music since as long as I can remember. It's just, I've always done it. I've been acting for quite a few years. Um, I've done two independent films. I've been going out for bigger auditions now, which is pretty cool. Well, I guess fashion represents self-expression altogether, you know. It can make you feel a lot better <laughs> about yourself. Some of my favorite designers are Vivian Westwood, Marc Jacobs, YSL, um, and in more of a new, in like newer designer, I'd have to say obesity and speed. I mix clothes quite often, and I also like to mix, mix um, really feminine stuff with really masculine stuff. I can try to define my style. Um, I'd say it's pretty laid back. I'm guessing it's not too um, it's not too put together. You know, I mean, I put time into putting outfits together, but I don't think it, you know I don't like to dress up too much. I fashion icons. Um, Brooke Shields is one of them. Mark Bowen from T-Rex and David Bowie. Because I, I, well Mark Bowen and David Bowie, I just really like androgyny in general. Even though I don't dress very androgynous, but you know, it's one of, it's definitely in the top. My oldest item in my um, closet would probably be the shirt that was originally my dad's. And I probably wore it since I was like 10 and I still have it. I don't usually wear much jewelry unless um, I'm like, unless people get it for me. <laughs> I, I keep it pretty minimal, but I mean, I definitely like bright pieces even in there, you know. But I like to keep it simple at the same time. My favorite magazine is probably, well, all together Vogue, well, all the Vogues, but specifically Italian Vogue. The new tattoo, it really hurts. I got it yesterday and it's really, my arm's really swollen from it. And I remember I was like, I want to get it like a tattoo. And then my friend recommended this really good tattoo artist and I made like an appointment. I wasn't nervous about it at all, but I thought it was going to be smaller, you know? I'm not like a model or something. I'm a singer. I can get tattoos, you know? It's not, um, it's not going to, I don't think it's going to affect my working life too much, you know? I could understand if I had to do like, I don't know, like campaigns and stuff. I don't have any of that. So I was like, and also, you know, I want people to want to use me for stuff as me and not as like a face so or a body. So I thought it's pretty, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a pretty big statement too, in general. And also it just, I, I was like, wow, I actually did it. I went through with this like huge thing on my arm. So that's pretty, it's, it's cool. Don't know how to shut you off. Thank you Italian Vogue for such a great day, but I have to go now. Check out my music at www.skyferreira.com. Bye.